Hello beautiful people, welcome to Creative Kina. Today I'll be teaching you how to make some amazing flowers on the surface of the rocks. So let's begin. Here I've collected a stone from the backyard and washed it using soap and water and air dried it. So let's begin drawing a rough sketch of the flowers we want to make. Here I'm using a pencil and I will quickly draw a rough sketch of the flowers I want to make. I'm painting daisies today so I'll quickly draw a sketch of it. You can always go ahead and choose the flowers you want to make. So here my sketch is ready. I will start painting the background. I am using a black acrylic color for painting the background of the flowers. Whenever you want to paint the stones, make sure they are clean and dry before using them. Here I am using a dark color to paint the background. You can always go ahead and paint it as per your choice. Always make sure that you leave the area of the flowers and paint the rest of the background. Let it dry and we proceed with the second coat. This will make the surface of the rock more even and so once it has dried, always check before painting the flowers. So let's begin painting the flowers. I'm using three colors for the base of the flower. I'm using a yellow, orange and a white paint. So yellow and red will be for the second coat of the flower. And with the white I'll be painting the first coat of the petal. Here I'm using a one stroke painting technique. I'll be loading my brush in three colors. I'll be using some white as the base color, a touch of red and yellow on the tip of the brush. Here I'll be using a simple technique pressing the brush at the top and just releasing it while going at the down of the petal. Here I'll show you quickly how I'm doing it. I press at the beginning and I just release the brush at the end of the petal. See this will add some good shapes to the petals. So let's begin. Press and release. Always make sure that you load your brush after every two or three strokes. And after that, clean your brush properly and reload it with the paint. You 
can already see the three shades of the colors on the petals. This is just the first coat. Now let's quickly paint the second flower too. This one stroke technique gives you a very natural shade of the petals. Generally on the daisies that are in dual colors, you will find these shades of colors on the petals. So let's begin with the second coat of it. Now I'm just using red and yellow color for the second coat. White has already done its work at the first coat. It has acted as a base. And now we're using the two colors to just add more highlights to the petals. are ready. Now I'll be adding some highlights to the flowers. Here I'll be using a very thin brush and using number two brush from the Faber Castle range of brown brushes. I'll add highlights to the petals using the yellow color at the edges of the petals. at the edges. This will just make each petal stand out against the other one. Similarly do it on the second flower too. So now let the flowers dry and we will take another two colors for painting the center of the daisies. I'm using a burnt sienna and an orange color for this. And again using a round brush. It is a six number synthetic brush I'm using here. Now I will just dab the color at the center. I'm not loading my brush much with the color just a touch of sienna and I'll dab it in the center of the flower. Just a dabbing technique here. We're not painting it, we're not using any other strokes, just dabbing the color. When you're painting on the stone, always make sure you apply two coats of the color because of the uneven surface the color has to stand out. That's why we always add another coat of the color after doing the first coat. So once we are done with the base coat, now I'll be using some orange to add highlights to the pollen. This will create a little depth shade. See, we get a depth effect here. Now I'll use some yellow to add a little more brightness to it. So here they are done. Don't they look beautiful? Now let's begin painting the leaves. I'm using the same brush and using a sap green color. 
I am again loading my brush in two colors that is the green and yellow and using the same technique as we did for the petals we will be drawing the leaves too. So again you press and you release the brush. See you can make such easy leaves out of it. So let's do it on the stone too. shades of colors here. Yellow adds a little highlight to the leaves. So let's quickly make the leaves all around the flowers. Thank you for watching.